karibu. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And don't get a kubara mutsa ubga kabiri. Once again, I greet you all. Kuko na kanya keza tujeze moko kujirango tugani ire ibji man. Because it is a great time to speak by the word of God. Maze mihanga nereiro. Ah, so be have patience. Mwe kunama. And do not bow down. Mudasinzira. So you don't fall asleep. Ah, ubgo mundebe hano mugahang. But look at my forehead. Look at look at my face. Hunda na abgira bantu bari kundeva. I love people when they are looking at me as I talk to them. Iyombonye umuntu wuna mnyira kungo tujibjari mu. When I see you looking down, I think you're not following me. Ah, ubgo kumva nchiti nteji. But and as then again when you do that, you give me ah, uh, you take my strength away. Yes, Ashim. Amen. We are going to converse in the words. What is called God is strength. The topic is God is strength. And the strength you are going to converse with. It's for you to see if you have that strength. Because the truth is we all work for God. So it is a must that we have God's strength. Because we are on a journey. So when people are on a journey, so not all of them have the, the, the same strength. Some are sick in their journey. And some are weak. And some are lazy. And some are very lazy people. And they are the one they call weaker. Just lazy. Just lazy. And among them, there are those with strength, with motivation. Because they are going fast, they are going quickly. So, so we are on a journey. We are on a journey set to heaven. So be patient so we can see until we, we, we reach our journey end. And that's when we, we are going to converse on God, God is strength. Because the person we work for is God himself. So the God could reward us with heaven. So we could see that heaven. But then again, the war we, are, we have, we, we may not see that heaven. Because that war is looking, is seeking you out. That there's a singer that saying that we are fighting against against that we are preparing ourselves for the gates that we are going to reach our destination to. So a competition, if you don't understand competition, so basically it's a competition as you are racing to see our, our destination. Each person is racing to get ahead of others. A young man is racing that they want to get ahead. The elders they are racing they want to get ahead. So on this journey heading to heaven it is not desire the strength of dancing of jumping. It doesn't desire the strength it doesn't desire the physical strength. But God is strength is following his commands. Whether a child to follow the commandments. As the word of God, the word of God says to follow. And there and we see God's strength. Uh, let's not speak by mouth only. But rather, let's go and read, uh, and read the word of God. We're going to read in Numbers. 
We're going to read it in Numbers. Tureleba kubara niho turasoma mwari mara dusomera hari ya kubara ibice 22 we're going to read Numbers um, Arasoma 12. Umurongo Wagatatu Abajaja Kwa Gatanda Tu Abarike Ahunga. We're going to read Numbers 22, line 3 and 6. Again. Harabu Gahatka, Kuri Gatatu. Abanyamo Abo Bachib Givutu Need Go Hunga. Kubu Gishib Gabo. Barandu Gimitima, Nabi Israel. Kane, Avanyamo Abu, Babadi Rabakuru, Bimidiani, Bateraga, Didi Yasinze, Yavanu, Digi, Gukombo Toza, Gukombo Toza, Ibiri, Hid Ganohino, Ya Chuvios, Gokuinga, Zikombo Toza, Ugati. Gomu maso, goku musozi. Kandu yobaraki, mwena sipori, niwe yari kungoma, imowabu muri chogihe. Gatanu. Atuma inumwa, kuri baramu, mwene bayori, eh, mwene bayoti, iperori, hafi yuruzi, efrate, mugihugu chiwabu, ngo, Si muhamagare, si mugire, ziti. Ngo haja wa andu mavuye, muri agiputa. Baji magije, igihugu, chos. Ngo none, bahanganye nawe, katandatu. None, wabakingize, nuza umuvumire, abobandu. Ngo kuko, bahambali. Atobi hanga. Ngo kumbure yobanesha akabatinda akabiga eh, akabirukana eh, mu gihugu ngo kukwati yukuo aheza giye abaheza giwe kanduo avumye aba avumwe amen urakoze cyane amen let's go read in english again as number so 22 verse 3 and 6 we're going to read and, Mo and Moab was terrified because there were so many people. Indeed, Moab was filled with dread because of the Israelites. The Moabites said to the elders of Midian, uh, this, horror, this horror is going to lick up everything around us as an ox licks up the grass of the field. So Balak, son of uh, Zippor, who was king of Moab at that time, sent a messenger to summon Balaam, son of Baal, who was a dependent. Uh, Pentor near the, the Euphrates River in, a, in, in, in his native land. Balak said, The people has come out of Egypt and they have covered the face of the land and have settled next to me. Now come, now come and put a curse on these people because they are too powerful for me. Perhaps then I will be able to defeat them and drive them out of the land. For I know that whoever you bless is blessed, and whomever you curse shall be cursed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, muri kumva noneho. You can hear me. Amen. Maze abanabi Israeli bari bari murugendo. So when the Israelis were on their journey, bari bavu ya mwezi puta. Once they have left Egypt, bari gusubiri wabo. They are going back in the home. Ikanani. They go back in the homeland of Canaan. Maze baje zemu ndira. Now when they are on their way, baje raho ba chumbi kanone. They go where they could, they could find a settlement. So where they found a, a temporary settlement, the king saw them. And, and he saw that God had blessed And that he seen that they had young men. And he said there were some a And he said there were so many women. So the whole city was filled with Israel. So when the king saw these people who were sitting there in his city, the king was terrified. 
Because they are people blessed by God. And they had God's strength. So when he saw them, he was terrified. So that man, he was the king of the country. And that king was Balak. And the king said, there's a person of God. And that man works with God. So that man, whoever he blesses, shall be blessed. And that man, whoever he causes, the curse will be upon them. So Black said, let me go and tell them that the man the perhaps, the perhaps come and call these people because I fear them. That, let me summon him and let me tell him you to come and cause these people. The ones have cursed them. I will be able to fight against them. And I will defeat them. Because be, they have been cursed. But Lord, did he know that God was, God was with them? So for you to lose yourself. When you are in temptations. When you are in so many uh, problems. Know that you are not your own. Know that God is on your side. Truth is, even many. That Balak looked at them and was afraid. So Balak said, Let me go and tell Balaam. Because Balaam is the son of God. Because Balaam have, have cursed them. Then I will, I will attack them and, and I will defeat them. So Balak went to Balaam. So, so Balak went to Balaam. So follow me, follow me. Follow along. And if you follow, follow along. So Balak was a king. And Balaam was, was a servant of God. And Balak went to Balaam so that Balaam could cause the, the Israelites. So, uh, Balak sent people, messengers. So, he sent messengers to Balak so he could come and curse the Israels. So, once the messenger got to Balaam, they told him, and he said, I work with God. That here I'm gonna I, I have to ask God first. So the night came. So the night was young and Balaam bowed down and prayed to God. So but God told Balaam, do not leave the post. The, the Israel are my people, do not curse them. So Balaam told them to the messenger that go that cannot curse the Israels. So when they went back, Balak sent other messengers to Balaam again. That, Balaam, so Balak sent a messenger with authority. That way, when Balaam seen the seen them, he'll be afraid. But then again, Balaam received the messenger well. Once they received them, what, uh, what they, he, uh, they told Balaam what, what brought them. So the messenger told Balaam that Balaam I, I, I have asked to tell you that to curse the Israels. So follow and follow me and you to come back with us. So Balaam didn't did say no. Yeah, but Balaam said, give me a... Murare hano. Balaam said, I stay here for the night. I will ask God. So again, when the night was young, Balaam prayed to God. 
Once again, God told Balaam, Do not leave your post and cross the road. Because they are my people. My brothers, oh no, I joined in so many temptations. There are so many obstacles. They came from Egypt. Now they have an escape for for all. But then another pharaoh has come to become the obstacle. So is that, that's how it is. In your journey, on your journey, you, your journey, you have so many obstacles in your journey. But you need to have strength. And do not be like, like the less people we spoke about earlier. Because there are some, once they fall into temptations, when they fall into temptations, they become less, they become weaker. And once they fall into temptations, your temptation is where your Christianity Hallelujah. is shown. Amen. Your temptations, that is, there is where your Christianity is shown. As young, young, girl, young lady, you're tempted. Young man, you're tempted. You know, know that if you don't dress with strength, you will go, go back. You will fall back in your Christianity. Your journey will be for nothing. Because there's so many obstacles on your, on your journey. And for me, there's so many obstacles on my way as well. The Israels, when they escaped Pharaoh from Egypt, but before them, they encountered another Pharaoh. And you said, I have been saved. What is left of, of is in peace. But you don't pray. Lord, you call for God. But you say you've been saved. The more temptation comes in your way. Because you don't pray. You say that all this happened because I was not learning. And you say God is now on my side. So the truth is, do not go and encourage your God. And you become less, you become less. Then, then you say, maybe I should stay home. But even now they are home and, and, and there's no problem. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have a certain you do whatever you want, do whatever you can. Satan is the mukulikira na hichi. Satan, why? Satan will never care for you. Kabaru mukozi wajo. Because you, because you, you are, you are uh, the, the son of Satan. Do tando kana na wa Satan ideiro. Let the first share between Satan's worker and. Wa Satan indi wa mumenya. Because Satan's worker, you never, you will never know who you, who. Haramenya tafuga tia vuzengo ni duhura no winzo gangu ni Satan. Because you never encounter them and say they have a certain. Where who God we? Ulimuno. You for yourself. Who are you? Satan ya kuinjira muno mu Kristo. Because Satan come to you only because you are Christian. Uga kuri bita koru. And you do what should be done. Ari kijambo ri mana ri kuvuga ngo. But the word of God says. Biari ndi wabagam. The thing you are living in. Ubutu kanya wabagam. The the cost you are living in. Ubwe shi wabagam. The lie you are in, you are become like Balak. Because you became an obstacle of the Israel. And they couldn't finish your journey where you going. For them to be killed. But again, because God was on their side. Because God was on their side. Because one they went to seek help was God's servant. And they needed to they needed for him to curse them or to curse them. But even Balaam couldn't do so. So, we, so he followed them. He followed them on, the, on his way. 
He says that I, I allow you. I said that whatever God tells me is what I will say or do. He said I, I allow you. But whatever God says is what we say. Can God tell but to kiss people? No. So the God who gave so many cows or cows. He gave so many cows or cows. And it's all these cows you have given me. God will never allow me. Uh, let's go and read. Mukozi wimana dusomere aho ngaho nubundi muri cyo gitabo 22 murongo wa 22 ugeze kuwa 29 Again we going to read at number 22 verse 21 dusome mu izina rya Yesu Ibyindogo baya baramu Bukeye baramu aravyuka ashira amatandiko ku ndogo bayiwe Ajana na ba bamenyekana bimo wabo 22 Uburaka bw'Imana buraziriringa kuko agiye umumarayika w'uhoraho ahagarara mu nzira ngo amutangire kandi yari ku ndogo bayiwe abashumba biwe babiri bari kumwe nawe ngo biri nagatatu mazi iyo ndogo ba ibona uwo mumarayika w'uhoraho ahagaze mu nzira yasoko inkota Icha Irak irakevya iva munzira icha muvyatsi baramu arayikubita ngo yisubize munzira ibiri nakande mazu wa mumarayika wuhoraho aragenda ahagarara mu rurombero aca hagati y'imirima y'imizabibu eh urombe urombeye impande zombi Ibiri na gatano iyo ndoga wa ibonyo wa mu marayika uhoraho yiyagiriza yiyagiriza yiyegereza yiyagiriza ku murombero uwo murombero eh uwo iwuhombere kaniriza kwibirenge ca baramu arongera arayikubita ibiri na gatandatu Mazu wa mumarayika wuhoraho yigirayo ahagarara mu mbopane ha, eh, hatagira akanya ko gukebereza iburyo canke ibumoso ibiri nindwi iyo ndogoba ibonye wa mumarayika wuhoraho ica ira eh, iryama ica irabya eh, iryama baramu akiri kuri yo Uburake bwa baramu buraziriringa ayikubita inkoni ibiri numunani mazu horaho abumbura kanwa kiyo ndogoba ibaza baramu atumoyiki kungubitira ibihetanga bo gatatu kose 129 baramu arayishura ati nukuri kura uramfiki nako Iyo amba mfisi ingota Munoke Mbanguishe Akakanya Milongu itatu Iyo ndogoba iba zabaramu Ati Sindi ndogoba yawe Wamu gende lako Gushita uyumusi Haraho nigaze Kukugiri langiri Araka natoya Tatuna Amina Amina Garukila Amen. Again, this read, uh, again was uh, number 22, verse 21 until 30. Uh, the title says, uh, Balaam is donkey. So Balaam got up in the morning, saddled his donkey, and went with the Moabites' officials. But God was very angry when he went, and the angel of the Lord stood in the road to oppose him. Balaam was riding his donkey, and his two servants were with him. When the, don when the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with a drawn sword in his hand, it turned off 
he turned off the road into the field. Balaam beat, uh, Balaam beat the donkey up and back it up on the road. 24. Then the angel of the Lord stood in the narrow path uh, through the vineyard with the walls on both sides. When the donkey saw when the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, he pressed close to the wall, crushing Balaam's foot against it. So he beat the donkey again. Then the angel of the Lord moved on ahead and stood in a narrow place where there was no room to turn, either to the right nor to the to the left. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, it lay down under Balaam, and he was angry and beat it and beat it and beat it with his staff. Then the Lord, then the Lord opened the donkey's mouth, and it said to Balaam, "What have I done to you? What have I done to you to make you beat me with, with uh, these three times?" Balaam answered to the donkey, "You have made a fool of me. If only, if only I had, if only I had a sword in my hand, I will, I will kill you right now." Then the donkey said to Balaam, "Am I, am I not your own? Am I not?" Am I not your own donkey, which you have always ridden to this to uh, to this day? Have I been in the habit of doing this to you? Uh, no, Baram said. Amina. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, It is very uh, complex. So a man got a place where he lost. So he said, let me go and do it myself. But you didn't know that God is God. So God's strength left him. And even though he spoke to God, uh, going to his visions or through dreams, but like I told Balaam that once he, once he cursed the Israels, he will give you a position higher than others. So Balaam took his donkey and he left. So he took his donkey and put uh, the saddles on the donkey. So he said he's going to go and, call and curse the Israels. So you are protected, my brothers. Uh, and Christians protected. So when they got to a place, when they got into a narrow in a, a narrow road, I harmed this called a place where it's like paddy between houses. Basically, a narrow path, a, a road. So basically, if you see how the apartments usually between between apartments. So between the uh, walls, the angel saw the angel. The donkey saw the angel. So the donkey start going back. The, the donkey start going back. So but I took his staff and hit it. And he took another staff and he hit the donkey again. So the donkey he the donkey got a place where he couldn't go forward or backward or right. So the donkey bowed down. The donkey fell upside down against the wall. So the donkey became disobedient. So then God gave the donkey the power to speak. And the donkey said, to Balaam, to Balaam, why, have you, why, why have you hit me three times? For so many times, you have written me, have I been to be to you? But you have hit me three times. But I'm a shot to the But I'm a shot to the times. But I'm a shot to But I'm a shot to the But I'm a But I'm saying, if only. But I'm if I had a sword with me, I would have killed you. The doctor told Balaam, they have no knowledge, look ahead of you. 
mazengo imana uheje gamasoga gawamugabo then god gave abraham yaje kwitegereza asangamaraika hagaze munzira hagati so when Barak could see he saw the angel standing before them with a sword ndiye amenye kwindogo baya mukijije but he didn't know that the, the dog is saved maraika rategereje ngo because the angel was waiting for Balaam. Balaam no amugeraho amukwiti ngota mu. Balaam ga crossed the angel. The angel of Kingo goba yo yatangiye kumubona ubwambere. The dog could see the angel before Balaam could. Niho yatangiye kugambira nk'abantu. And that's why the angel was was disobedient against Balaam. Bene da timbaraga z'Imana zirakomeye. So the thing is God is strength is very powerful. Kandi nawe udafite imbaraga z'Imana. You don't have God's strength. Waneshwa. You you be defeated. Niyo mpamvu nababwiye ngo and as I've told you earlier turi mu rugendo we are on a journey bari abari bari gutaha bari kuji wabo the dust are going home natwe turi gutaha turi kuji wacu and we are ever going home ndahandi reri wacu ni mwijuru and our destination journey and our home is heaven turabasembera so we are just you are just journey wacu dutuye ho buno we are here temporarily here ariko wabona ku mugoro batugiye but again in the, in the evening we could see us going nangu mwe muri twakagenda you could be one among us could leave us nangu asiyenda imperuka ikaza twese tukagenda oh maybe at the end at the end we could all go at the same time ariko wawundu utagira imbaraga but if you don't have God's strength wawundi wamaze gutinya ibigeragezo the one of who have been defeated by temptation wawundi wanze ku kwikura hushize bwiso the one to have for for saying the zanje so zose zose the one of for second the good behaviors the twazi ganura the we don't know who you are eh umubwiriza ya 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 dusomeye ngo the red for us udafite imbuto z'umwuka and the red if you don't have the fruits of the holy spirit udafite imbuto z'umwuka si if you don't have the seeds of the spirit ngo ufite umwuka utagira ukugenga they have a spirit that that does is there paulo yaravuze paul said atimuntu w'imana nuje gusenga the oppression of god if you don't if you don't go to pray usenge imana kandi ushireho nubwenge when you pray pray with knowledge ati nuje gukora ikintu do you do something ushireho nubwenge bwawo you use your knowledge nawe wa munyamwuka we that you with the spirit but in age ndu munyamwuka and you say i say i am among those nawe ru munyamwuka are you among them hallelujah amen inyuma muri abanyamwuka are you among them murenda kugira ngo ntago mugi so maybe you don't Niba muta ufite mu bushake rero If you don't have the Holy Spirit seek it seek it out Njewe gwanyuzuye mo ntiwareba Because for me it feels so much Guri kubo I want to do Maze ba then uyu mugabo rero This man yaragiye kuvuma abisirayeli This man was going to curse Israel Nico yaragiye kuryora He was going to curse the man that was on purpose Kuko bari bamwohereje kuvuma abisirayeli Because they they had asked him to go and curse the Israels Usomye muri Yuda He really Judas Ngo Na maraika ubwe The even the angel himself Ngo ntabwo batonganiye intumbi ya ya Mose maraika tongana na satani because the angel was going against satan maraika so atongana na satani the angel was, was fighting against satan bari gupfa intumbi ya Mose and the fight against uh, Mose is tombstone ariko ngo ntabwo yigeze ngo ntabwo yigeze amuvuma but he never cursed him ntabwo yigeze amutuka the angel never cursed satan ariko weho umuntu ragukorera gakeya but for him somebody do you wrong for a little bit ukamukora iyo bwabaga you do so much you don't have to count it umuntu w'Imana ari hanganaga a person of God has patience abari inyuma muje muri hangana the back of patience nda utababara bamututse because if you are hurt because no we are hurt in some ariko ni ngombwa ngo wihangane but you need to be patient 
if you stand here and you tell me curse you are, you're cursing and cursing. Among there, who will be the Christian? Malaika ni wewa wachira nyana na ni ntumbi ya Mose achira na Satana je gugu shikiri ntumbi ya Mose. When the angels fall against Satan, so Satan could not get to na Malaika ara Moses is graveyard. Because then you see a do not touch Moses graveyard. Even though, at the end he never cursed Satan. Because then you say the no and don't touch. The no is do not touch Moses' is tombstone. If so is that patient. A man was saved by what? A man was saved by his daughter. Balaam was saved by what? Balaam was saved by who? Who saved Balaam? If you are conversing with the word of God, let's follow and be patient. If that's what I've said, I do not bow down, but look at me. Then you will know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go quickly on. Eh, do so mere turangiri turangirize kuri Petero ya kabiri. Let's read Second Peter. Petero ya kabiri. Niho tuje kurangiriza. We are reading Second Peter. Turasoma umurongo wa cumi na gatano no wa cumi na gatano tu. Verse Second Peter. Ubwo turaba turangije. Igice cha kabiri. Petero ya kabiri. Second Peter chapter 2 verse 15 to 16. But uh, are in the Gorotzi. Verse 16. But are in the Gorotzi. 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 in the Gorotzi. in Ariko ahanwa ubugaba bwiwe hamwe indogoba itazi kuvuga yavuga ijwi nk'iyumuntu akabuza ibisa ibisazi ikabuza ibisazi vyuwo muntu avugishwa ni imana amen imana ikugirie neza amen Twirinde. So Twirinde. Let's protect. Guhombo chera mubi intu bitajiru mumaro. Let's protect the we don't we don't fall in face with that. Twirinde. Kukuri ya mugabo yaraji ye. Ya. Ishambarji manajori ri kuvuga kuko. Because the word of God says. Ya tewe ni risazi. That the the word of God says that he was attacked by being by. Ah, what muri 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 onyandi kondabgo. I we're not going to follow too long what we read. But I want to ask you if you just write it down your own and you can read it later. So let's finish here. Uh, you, tell, uh, you tell a lot. Many, uh, many are told only those that are concerned are here. We tell so many, but now everybody could understand it. At the beginning, one want to say, whoever concerns, they heard it. So we're going to pray. We are going to pray. And as we're going to pray, we'll pray this way. Look carefully where you are. I know that we are on a journey. And we have heard what will, what will take us into serious We have heard the beginning. If we are on this journey, Satan is not loving us. But Satan brings us so many lies. May it bring you lies and temptations. And many said it shows you the uh, Many to 
Many shows But then again in this moment Because of the word of God I've heard If you have done nothing wrong Humble yourself Humble yourself in your heart and say and praise I am God a God to me. God for this heart of sin. Sin. Uh, Did you know? For you to not believe in yourself. And you become lies like others. So do not be like Balaam who is going to curse Israel. Even if maybe the word of God has touched your heart, let's all stand. Let's all stand. Abakozi b'Imana bigere bugufi ni we 